today we're going to talk about perfume layering and I'm showing you some great examples on how to layer perfumes, perfumes that I love together and also I'm going to show you two new perfumes that I got that are beautiful so make sure you keep on watching. Hi my name is Amanda and welcome if you're new here. On this channel we talk about all things luxury fragrance and we also talk about beauty and also some lifestyle st stuff. I'm planning on doing a little bit more vlogs when there's things to vlog basically. So in case that's your jam, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram over here because I post a lot of outfit content and just stories um, on my Instagram. So I would be really happy if you would um, follow me on there. Also, all of the products will be linked below and yeah let's get right into the video so i've gotten this question quite a lot how i layer perfumes and which perfumes i would recommend for perfume layering i have to say that a lot of people do this differently and also it is something very particular in some cultures some like in some middle eastern cultures it's actually very very common to layer perfume also i will put the timestamps down below in the description box so if you're just interested in the perfume haul or just how to layer then make sure you go down below i will put them in it so why would you want to layer perfume so i think there's a few ways to make uh, a signature scent first of all is if you want to have your own signature scent you can layer different perfumes that gives you the possibility to mix and match and therefore you don't smell like anyone else it's very rare that someone like layers the same perfumes as you right Another way uh, or another reason why you want to layer perfume is also for the lasting power. A lot of times when you layer perfumes the right way, they last a little bit longer. And yeah, these are, I think, the two main reasons why to create your own scent and to make your perfume last longer. What is the best way to layer perfume? So there are a few different ways. You can either layer perfume with different perfumes. So say you just want to mix your scent um and your signature scent then you can just go ahead and layer two different perfumes but if you want to make your perfume perfume last longer then ideally you mix um your perfume with some other products like such as a body lotion so whenever you step out the shower or let's say you don't you, you didn't shower you just use a body lotion that you really love there's also possibility to, to, to just use a body butter, so anything that is very moisturizing is really, really good. What I would recommend you when you use a body lotion to layer your perfume is to use one that has a woody base or a vanilla base, because in my personal opinion and in my experience, these body creams tend to be the best when layered, because these um, notes, if you want to say so, go with a lot of different perfumes. Also, there are loads of different body lotions. You don't need to buy a super expensive one. One that I actually really love is from Dove, which is a cocoa butter, I think. And some that I also really love are from the Rituals. This one happens to be the Indian Rose and Himala Himalaya Honey. This one is really, really nice, but the favorite one of mine is the Buddha, Ritual of Buddha, I think. I will try to um, put it here. It's a very woody scent. So I also really love to layer that one. Then another one that I really like, which I'm also gonna put here, is the Laura Mercier one. And it's a little bit pricey. If you don't need to pay that much, there's also some really nice body lotions from Victoria's Secret, the vanilla ones that you can just put on your body and then follow up with the perfume. It's also really recommended to do this right when you leave, leave the shower and you are still a little bit damp. This makes the body lotion stick a lot longer. In general, if you want your perfume to last, then make sure you always have moisturized skin. That's the best way. So let's say you start layering and you use your body lotion. Next thing that I personally use is my molecular perfume. This one is the one I use. It is D01 uh, from Eccentric Molecules. To be honest, um, a lot of people don't smell this um, because molecule, this particular molecule is not smelled by everyone. Um, it's also an eau toilette, so I really just use this after my body lotion and I spray this on my skin. It has a woody scent, a molecular woody scent, and I use this after my body lotion before I apply my perfume. I just feel like the molecules or the perfume just makes my perfume sometimes last a little longer. Maybe that's just an idea that I have but it just makes me feel like whenever I wear this on top of my body lotion and then I top with my perfume, then it lasts really long. 
So when you go ahead and you choose your perfume, um, you can choose any perfume you like. I normally layer with two if I do perfume layering. And on top of that, you would use a hair perfume. So I will put a list here. So let's say you want to do the whole thing. Let's say it's your wedding day and you really want to go into the perfume layering and you want to make sure you smell good and it stays on. So the first thing that you would make sure is, of course, as well, it starts in the shower when you wear when you use a good body wash but let's say you stick out of the shower you take a good body lotion or a body oil then what you would use is a molecular perfume not obligated but just make sure that you really put your body in body lotion and body oil i like to use the both as well and then you can add two perfumes and then on the top you could add a hair perfume so for hair perfume for example i have two if you want to watch my hair perfume videos i actually did one um i would have to do an updated one because i love hair perfume and two that i really enjoy using that i feel like are really really doing the job and are really strong is one is the oud satin mood from mfk is also without alcohol so it doesn't dry out your hair this smells really divine in your hair and i'm also planning on getting the baccarat rouge one and the other one that i have is the alien from terry mugler this one is really nice and it is um it smells like alien i'm not a fan of alien weirdly enough i like this perfume um it's less concentrated so it's not as strong but don't be fooled don't add too much because this hair perfume smells really strong so this is a great date night fragrance anyways you can wear it all the time but I'm just letting you know in case um this one is definitely my favorite of the moment so i would add this on top like I mentioned in the beginning, perfume layering is actually a big part of some cultures. For example, in the Middle Eastern culture, I believe. So I'm not sure, I don't want to point any country, but um, I know in some Middle Eastern cultures, actually, when you have people coming over, there's a home, like some families have their own perfume. So they would put the perfume on visitors. So when they leave their house, they are perfumed in their family's perfume. Often so that is made with bukhur, which is they smoke with some chips oil chips most of the times these are also ways they layer so for example i'm sure you've met um, beautiful emirati women but also other middle eastern women that smell really good and a lot of times they um, put their clothes over the bukhur there's also bukhur things that i've mentioned before that you can add to your clothing to your hair for your overall to smell good this is also a form of perfume layering because you add that on top they a lot of time also use atar which is an oil which is an oil concentration and they add it here uh, most of the times on pulse pool, pool points and then they add the perfume on top so this is also a way to perfume layer but you can use also any oil so now that we covered why and how to do layering, there's also some important information. How do you do it in terms of scents? Which notes can you combine? Again, I think this is very personal. I don't wanna make any statements that are musts, but um, you have to, the easiest way to think about it is to think about it as an individual perfume. So when you go on Fragrantica or you go on any, any other, um, fragrance website and you look at the notes of a specific fragrance then you have base notes middle notes and top notes and most often the base, base notes are the ones where you find a lot of times more wood you find a lot of times sandalwood mask um sometimes vanilla so you find like more of a stronger and woody based because when a fragrance is developing you want the base note to last so the most of the times woody notes or you know these kind of notes tend to last a little bit longer than for example fresher notes so when you so when you apply so if you um, apply this principle to perfume layering then you would start with the perfume that is more wood based or is more i would say like i for example i like to start off with a woody perfume and then i would add a vanilla or maybe sometimes a fresher perfumes a fresher perfume you all know i don't really have fresh perfumes but today i'm going to show you the best fresh perfume in my opinion i'm telling you <laughs> so yeah so i would do is start off with the woody scent 
and then on top I would use a lighter scent. Why would you start off with the Bougie scent besides the fact that you look at it as a perfume is also if you start with this lighter scent then the stronger scent overpowers the lighter scent and then you're more likely not to smell the lighter scent. And what you want to do is use and smell the both combined. Also I want to let you know that this takes really exercise like um, I can show you some um, combinations that I like but I think it's good always to test them out and also to see what you what you prefer, which mixtures, how much you want to take of it, how do I apply them. So in my opinion, again, I don't want to own the subject, you know, that's just my opinion. Um, I like to add, like if for example, if I use two fragrances, I like to spray them on the both on the same place. I, if I really want to layer and I want to mix a perfume. If you really want to layer and want to mix a perfume, you spray them onto the same place, that's how I do it. Or I would just like use it together, I mean after one another, and then I would just go like this, this, you know what I mean. So now I'm going to show you my favorite perfume combinations. So these are just some examples, of course it can vary, but what I like to do, um, let's start off with my newest my newest my newest additions to my perfume collection this is part where i'm showing you a little haul and i'm also showing you my perfect my my favorite perfume layering combinations these gorgeous bottles i have been sent by paris monte carlo thank you so much um on this note to paris monte carlo for sending me these beautiful fragrances they actually sent me a discovery set so i could choose the fragrance um initially they wanted me to send one bottle they were so kind to send me a second one which i'm really excited about and i'll let you know why so paris monte carlo for those who don't know they are actually a brand from monaco based in monte carlo and they are existing since um, 1981. Um, motivations is to use natural sources with innovation and you can really smell that in their fragrances. So the ones that I chose and that these are part of my layering combinations is like I mentioned Vanilla de Tahiti and Bergamotto di Calabria. But Calabria. And so when they asked me to choose a fragrance I was expected to I was expecting to choose a woody scent because they have like Rose de Taif, they also have another one which is amber gris amber ambre gris i think and uh, because i love these kind of fragrances but i absolutely fell in love with bergamotto di calabria and i said earlier in the video that i'm gonna show you the best fresh scent i've ever smelled and i'm not kidding like this is the one so this one is a gorgeous fragrance and it's a fresh scent and like the name it says, it's maybe the it's the bergamot of Calabria, which is actually a region in south of Italy. So I'm gonna let you know the notes about this perfume. So let's check. Okay, so the head notes are bergamot, spugna, capua, petit grain Paraguay, timor pepper, and pink pepper. Heart notes are orange flower, water capua, mark and neroli, absolute orange blossom, jasmine absolute. Base notes are Irish sandalwood, vetiver, Haiti, and musk. And I read this from their website because greatly I've made an experience that on Fragrantica not all the notes are mentioned. And I really want to let you know the notes um, completely. And so as you as you heard, this is orange blossom, and I need I love orange blossom in a fragrance. And so why do I think this is the perfect fresh scent? So in general, I don't really love fresh scent. I think a lot of time fresh scents can remind me of cleaning products or, you know, the bath, like the cleaner for the floor, which, you know, is not what I wanted to be reminded of by perfume. A lot of time I also have the feeling that a lot of fresh scent sadly don't last very long and i don't feel like they have anything special so when it comes to this one and i want to spray this on my skin just because it's gorgeous by the way the atomizer uh, this atomizer on this bottle is gorgeous so this one for me literally smells like vacation in italy do you know the feeling of a hot day and you're in, Ita in Italy and you're walking, you're like all tanned and you walk in the evening sun and you s you're like looking for a restaurant, it's, it's, it transports you immediately there. 
and what I really love, really, really love about this fragrance that is so well balanced. The notes are so beautiful. Like, although there is like a really, really big part of the bergamot in it that you can smell, you also can really smell the iris. You can really smell the iris, the orange blossom and the sandalwood. So this one is absolutely beautiful. And I know we're past summer, but I think you can still wear this in winter. Why could you? Why should you not wear first scents in winter or autumn? Um, especially if you live in Dubai, it's hot right now, now, or if you live in another place of the world where winter or autumn uh, months doesn't necessarily mean really cold, this especially would be beautiful. And so when I tried this one, I was like, wow, this is absolutely beautiful. I want this one. I really want this one. And I also tried Vanilla de Tahiti. Bani de Tahiti, sorry. And this one is absolutely beautiful. So this one is not your average vanilla scent because this one literally smells like the vanilla that you open. You know when you have a vanilla, what do you call that in English? Um, I know the name in German, but I don't know the name in English. You have some fresh vanilla and you open it to put in your cake. And then when you you know, take it out with the knife, you always get a whiff of it. This is exactly how it smells. And what is really beautiful, because when you first spray it, you maybe think, hmm, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, it's just vanilla, but it develops with the time so beautifully. And so what I did, and not I pass pass, I actually tried this first, and then I tried the other one, and I sprayed them on the same area on my skin, and together they were just incredible. So I asked them if it's possible to give me both of them, because I believe that these are a perfect match made in heaven this vanilla de tahiti and this one beautiful bergamotto di calabria together are just absolutely stunning this is what i meant by layering the first scent that is a little bit more on the stronger side or a little bit more on the gourmand side or woody side which would be here the vanilla de tahiti and i'm also gonna let you know uh, the notes in this beauty so so the head notes are absolute ylang ylang, absolute of shampaka, heart are vanilla of Tahiti CO2, so and base notes are amber, sandalwood and musk. And this one is very very vanilla based. So if vanilla is your fragrance, is your favorite fragrance, then you will love this. I just love how this develops, it's so beautiful. It's a true vanilla. And what I really love about this as well, um, you can layer both of them amazingly. So let me show you an example. For example, we have here Perfect Oud from Maisoncier, which I really love. And you know, I love it. I mean, it has a pretty dent in it. These, one to these ones together, oh my God, so gorgeous. You know, this one is a Oud Accord kind of fragrance. So it's a little bit more of a softer Oud on top with the vanilla fragrance absolutely beautiful for these two for example i would not put it on the same spot like these ones i use it on the same spot what i would do is start off with the perfect oud and spray it all over me and then go ahead and do the same with this one i just think when you walk past and you have once you have the whiff of perfect oud and then you have the whiff of vanille de tahiti it's so beautiful i mean how can you not smell great vanilla is so beautiful and it's one of the scents that most of people love. So if you are a little bit picky, vanilla is always a good idea. Then another scent combination that I wanted to show you is Baccarat Rouge, also with Vanille de Tahiti. I told you that Baccarat Rouge for me is an amazing scent to layer because the base is beautiful. Let me give you a little bit, little of a trick. So when you want to purchase Baccarat Rouge, let me like let me tell you get the body oil i've talked to you about the perf perfume of Baccarat rouge but i'm letting you know now get the perfume oil because the perfume oil comes in a bottle with the atomizer so you can spray it on your skin it's oil it lasts forever and it's a fraction of the price it's still very pricey but it is a lot less expensive I'm gonna get it just so you know just to let you know because i love to wear this fragrance but i prefer to layer it and body oil i mean are we okay so gorgeous so i will get this i'm gonna link the body oil below i heard it's gonna sell out very soon because i've he heard someone else talk about it and so make sure you get the body lotion and so what i also would love is the 
top it off with this gorgeous vanilla scent that I've just talked to you about. Um, where is the other one? Yeah, so I really love to top this off with any fragrance that's gourmand. I also think Lyra from Serge is really well with it, but I love to wear the vanilla fragrance with it. Then another option for you, if you want to layer vanilla, you can always use this one, like the woody style, but you can also wear the Bergamotto di Calabria on a woody perfume or an amber perfume, woody perfume, whatever, because I like, I personally really love the freshness when a wood, like when a woody fragrance has some freshness to it. I really love that. I don't like fresh fragrances normally by themselves, but this one I really love. And I think this is also a great get out the shower fragrance. But those together are just so beautiful. And so another another duo that I really love as a layering fragrance are these two together, which is, that's an expensive duo, okay? This is not for the weak hearted, this is for the fancy people because this one is Elegance Pure. So starting off with Enigma by Raja, which is starting off with Enigma by Raja for Femme with Contre Moi by Louis Vuitton. And again, this is not one that I would spray like off each other. I would spray them like this. Start off with Enigma, then I would top it off with Contre Moi. I think these two are really, really complementing each other very well. And I really love to wear both of them together. And you know, Contre Moi is my love, is, my, is the love of my fragrance because I tell you all the time my opinion in my view and so on. And I know this is the same case for this, but this one is just so gorgeous. I don't know, this fragrance makes me feel elevated, elegant, sophisticated. I will never stop mentioning this fragrance. Not a lot of people own it. You can actually fill up the bottle as subscriber to me. If you go to Louis Vuitton, you can fill up the bottle and they last forever. It's my, it's my favorite. I haven't had a fragrance to top this one since I got it. I mean, there's other fragrances that came close that I really love, but I always come back to this. And topping this off with this double vanilla, okay, triple vanilla, because this is already two different vanillas in it. Wow, vanilla bomb, let me, let me tell you. And they're both very different. This one is more of an ambery vanilla. I would say a little bit of a bitter vanilla, not a very sweet vanilla. A very very sophisticated one this one is more of a herby um, a little bit more of a green vanilla but with a powdery note this one has a play-doh-y scent to it it's very very gorgeous uh, i don't i don't have you don't know how much in love i felt this when i first smelled it i i want to just let you know again I went to the store and I tried out all the Louis Vuitton fragrances and it was at the airport so I didn't have much time and when we went on the plane and I couldn't stop smelling my arm for the last remaining nine hours I was like I hope I'll find this again because I've never felt so much in love with the fragrance that immediately and so when I smelled it again I immediately knew it and it was a year off no a few months after so that means something right so I love to wear this one it also has I think some lemony notes to it so i think this would also great work great with this one i haven't tried this one yet let's try this because i actually think these two together on top would really be great okay so yes so if you want if you love the lemony note or if you want this if you love the citrusy note of this and you want it to come out a little bit more, then you can layer this. These two are so gorgeous together. So yeah, I think these are my top layering fragrance. Oh my God, that's so gorgeous. This is just a love for me. Also, I cannot wait to get the perfume oil from Baccarat Rouge because to top this off with this, so beautiful. So these were all my top combinations for perfume layering at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Make sure you check out Paris Monte Carlo's um, fragrances on Instagram. I'm gonna link their um, Instagram below. I'm also gonna add their website. Um, again, I just want to mention I got I didn't like I got sent these fragrances. I chose them, and I would never show you anything I don't like. Not that enthusiastic. Like no. Um, 
Yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure if you do put, put the thumbs up, that really helps my video to get a little bit more views. And also would really love if you would subscribe if you haven't. I mean, what are you waiting for? So many people watch my videos, they don't subscribe. Why? Okay, so thank you so much again for watching and see you next time.